Okay, we're on to phasing the distributor. We're going to start with the 30 degree method. And as I indicated before, the adjustable rotor is 84211. And that's the rotor there. It comes with the short screws and the long screws. There's instructions in there. I'll be using the short screws. I've got my old rotor, or old cap, excuse me here, that I've drilled a hole in. That's going to be my number one cylinder. Okay, I've also purchased a new cap, so when I'm all done, I can put it all back together. What I did was, we lined up number one cylinder, top dead center, using the Mr. Gasket uh, harmonic balancer tape. I purchased that at O'Reilly. The part number is 1591. It was $15. And uh, I set it to top dead center. Okay, now I take where my rotor location is, which is top dead center, zero degrees, and I take my screwdriver here and I mark a point. And if you look on my carburetor there, I've marked a little blue dot right there. So my rotor's straight, that's zero. Whoa. I'm dropping everything. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the harmonic balancer and I'm going to move it to 30 degrees before top dead center. Okay? 30 degrees before top dead center. And I'll show you guys how I did that. Get all these parts back up out of here. Okay? So now we'll come back over here. And before top dead center is down here. Okay? This is after top dead center. This is before. So we'll go to 30 degrees. And uh, in my case, I don't have a line that goes all the way across. I didn't put the tape far enough. So I'm going to take something like this card here. And I'll just go all the way to where my dot is. And make sure I'm at 30 degrees. And then once I'm at 30, I will now come to the back here. And what happens is your rotor turns clockwise um, but your the base where the cap sits doesn't turn so the rotor is going to change locations so what I'm going to do now is if I can find where my screwdriver fell I heard it fall earlier didn't see where it went though hmm. Hmm. I'm losing tools in my engine it's swallowing things Anyway, I'll find it here in a minute. Um, what you do basically is take a uh, screwdriver like I showed you a minute ago, and you're going to point it from the rotor here now, and it's going to point to the new location where I've already marked a dot. See it there on the carburetor, and that's where the new location is. So now what you're going to do is you're going to put it back to zero, okay? So you come back here, and you put your engine back to zero degrees <sighs> okay so now your rotor is going to move back to where it was <sighs> okay so now it's pointing back at this dot instead of that one you take the old rotor off you're going to put your new rotor on you're going to make sure it's pointing at the same spot which it should be shouldn't matter um, anyway it's adjustable but uh, I'm going to take I'm going to open up my new rotor here. There's my new rotor. And when I put it on now, it's already preset. Let's see where the adjustment is. Right here at the front, you can see the little degree wheels. It's got little degrees and it's set at zero right now. So it should be pointing in the same location that the other rotor would have normally been pointing. Here, I'll show you guys. So as you can see, the rotor is pointing at the old location. So I'm going to loosen the screw, and I'm going to turn it until it points at that position. And I'm going to tighten everything down, and it's, it's done. That's how you phase the rotor if you want to use the 30 degree method. It's really, really easy. Just loosen that screw now, turn it, face it to the 30 degree dot that we made earlier, tighten everything down, and put it together. 
Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to loosen that screw. I'm going to point it to that direction and uh, we will check where it's sitting in, in the cap based on um, our locations. So that'll be uh, in my next video coming up here in a few minutes. Alright, but that's all there is to the 30 degree phasing.